Hi, in today video I will teach you how to make die line for this cup holder, you must watch this video from beginning to end, only then you will understand and be able to make this die line or die cup very easily. The holder you are seeing here is made for two cups, you can make it for three or four cups in the same way. If you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon. So let we start. Here as you can see I will make it for 12 OZ cup. The top diameter is 9 cm. Now when we make its die line, we have to keep it less than this. If we use 9 cm then it will not be able to hold our cup. So we will reduce the top diameter with 0.5 cm so we will use 8.5 cm only then it will fit. Before we start press Ctrl plus R to show rulers. Right click and change units to centimeters. Select ellipse tool. Click anywhere in art board. Now type 8.5 by 8.5 centimeters. Remove fill color. Change stroke color to red. Change thickness to two points. Now, if we use this circle as a cutting line to make a hole for the cup, it won't be enough to hold the cup in place, so we need to make something like a rim to hold it in place. So we need to make another circle. Press Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus F to paste in front. We will reduce the size by 2.5 cm. Go to Transform, change reference point to center. Make sure Maintain Proportions is on. Then type minus 2.5 cm. Press Enter. Now select Line Tool and draw a vertical line intersecting with both circles. Select all. Align horizontal and vertical center. Now we have to rotate it 8 times. Select it. Double click on rotate tool. The circle is 360 degrees so type 360, we have to rotate it 8 times then we will divide by 8, press copy. Now press Ctrl plus D 4 times. Now select all. Go to Pathfinder and divide. Right click, ungroup. Delete all the lines inside, we don't need them. Select direct selection tool. Now select one of the inner lines and delete. Delete this one. Leave this. And so on. Now this four taps will hold the cup very well and this line here will be a folding line. So select all four. Ctrl plus X to cut, Ctrl plus F to paste in front, change color to green. Go to stroke, change to dash line. Now the red will be cut line and the green will be fold line. Select all, Ctrl plus G to group. Hold Alt and drag to make another copy. Snap both at edge. Now we want the space between them 2.5 cm so select the one to the right. Go to transform, in the X axis type, plus 2.5, press enter. As you can see here both our cups will be held easily, so it is done. Now select all. Our size has become 19.5 by 8.5, we need to add 3 cm from both sides. Select Rectangle tool and click anywhere. For width 19.5 plus 6, and for height 8.5 plus 6. Change color to red. Select both circles Ctrl plus G to group. Select all and align to the center. Now the bottom is finished. Now we have to make the handle which you can see here. Select the rectangle, hold ALT and drag up until snap.
change reference point to center bottom, change height to 18 centimeters. Now to make the handle, select rectangle tool, click anywhere. Now our width is 25.5 centimeters, so I will make the handle 12.5 centimeters and the height for centimeters. Now for corners if you want, you can make the handle like this. Or you can make it like this. And if you want, you can give a complete curve like this. Snap it to the top edge. I will make the distance between top edge and the handle 2 cm so in transform. Y axis, plus 2 cm, press enter. Select both top corners and rounded them. With line tool draw fold lines beside the handle. Select them, hold ALT and make a copy to other side. Flip vertically and snap to edge. Now with direct selection tool select both inner fold lines, CTRL plus X to cut, CTRL plus F to paste. Now select all fold lines, change color to green, and make them dashed lines. Now our die line is ready. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon, like and share the video.